You don't have to be an artist to create an amazing image in a watercolor style. You can just use Photoshop. My name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is how to make watercolor effects in Photoshop quickly with actions, originally written by Marco Kozokar on Envato Tats Plus. First, open the photo that you want to work with. Before we get started, just check a couple of things. Your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8 bits per channel. To check this, go to Image Mode. For best results, your photo size should be between 2000 and 4000 pixels wide high. To check this, go to Image, Image Size. Your photo should be the background layer. If it's not, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. We're going to need a couple of watercolor brushes. To learn how to create them, follow the link in the description to download the textures. Open each texture in Photoshop and go to Edit, Define Brush. Give each brush a temporary name in the same order as me. Now that we have defined our brushes, we need to adjust their settings and then define them again as new brushes. Press B and right-click anywhere inside the canvas. Select the first brush and hit Enter. Then press F5 to open the Brush Settings panel and adjust the settings. When you're done, click the icon on the bottom to save these settings as a new brush. Name it Watercolor Brush 1. Do the same with the second brush. Adjust the settings of the third brush. Modify the fourth brush as well. Finally, create the last brush with these settings. Let's go to the actual image now. Create a new solid color fill layer, name it background color and choose the color shown here. Double click the layer, check gradient overlay and use these settings. Select the background layer and press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then drag this layer to the top. Now press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Then go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Stylize, Glowing Edges and use these settings. Press Ctrl I to invert the colors. Then go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp mask and use these values. Change the blending mode of this layer to multiply and set the opacity to 47%. Name this layer Sketch. Create a new layer and name it Temp1. Now set the color to black, select the brush tool and pick the watercolor brush 1. Then adjust the size of the brush as you like and paint over the objects in the photo. Control click on this layer's thumbnail to make a selection. Then hide the layer, select the background layer and press Ctrl J to create a new layer using the selection. After that, drag this new layer just below the Temp1 layer. Change the opacity of this layer to 56% and name it WP1. Repeat these steps with the second brush. This time change the opacity to 40%. Do the same using the third brush. Change the opacity to 62%. Repeat the process with the fourth brush, this time without changing the opacity. Do the same with the last brush and keep the opacity at 100%. Select all hidden layers and delete them. Now select the WP1 layer, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Artistic, watercolor and adjust its settings. 
apply the same filter to all the other WP layers using the shortcut Ctrl Alt F. Group these layers with Ctrl G and name the group watercolor painting. Now create a new layer and name it Texture. Go to Edit, Fill and set the contents to 50% grey, mode to normal and opacity to 100%. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Texture, Texturizer and adjust the settings as shown here. Change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. Now create a new Curves adjustment layer and name it Color Look 1. In the Properties panel, enter these settings. Change the opacity of this layer to 46%. Now select the texture layer, create a new gradient map adjustment layer and name it Color Look 2. Change the gradient settings as shown here. Now change the blending mode of this layer to soft light and set the opacity to 33%. Select the color look 1 layer. Create a new gradient map adjustment layer with a black and white gradient and name it overall contrast. Change the blending mode of this layer to soft light and set the opacity to 37%. Create a new Vibrance Adjustment layer and name it Overall Vibrance Saturation. Increase both Vibrance and Saturation. Now press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a screenshot and then press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Then go to Filter, Other, High Pass and set the radius to 2 pixels. Change the blending mode of this layer to Hard Light and name it Overall Sharpening. And that's all! Now you know how to create a watercolor effect in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching!